Yes, O'Sullivan's favourite, but Bingham is more than competitive. Yeah, I think if you look at Ronnie's forms in this tournament, the second half of every match, yeah, he's definitely favourite. If you look at his form in the first halves, Stuart Bingham has got every chance. It's almost like Jekyll and Hyde. Like just a game of two halves. Neither player would like to see the black tied up. Good safety shot from Stuart Bingham. Imagine we see many frames over 20 minutes. The kind of safety play that Ronnie plays is generally very aggressive. To be in the semi-finals, O'Sullivan's not had to play anyone inside the top 45 in the world rankings. So Bingham clearly will provide a, a much sterner test. Well. Wow. There is a possibility to go into the two reds by the black here. Hmm. Well, certainly not like that. But he is on a red to left corner. Six. Yeah, we often say when players are playing Ronnie Sullivan to get a good start is imperative. Try and put him on the back foot from the as Seven. early as possible. He's got a cannon the red to the left of one he's going for. Just got to be careful with this positional shot. The cannon could go wrong. But in the end, he's 13. decided to leave himself a slightly more acute pot on the black. But he's got nothing to do with the cue ball, which makes the pot so much easier. 20. He's managed to create a very good opening from that opening red. It didn't look like a great opening to score and win the frame in one visit. 21. Struggled for much of the season, but not 28 since his arrival in Coventry. 29. That wasn't the shot of one of the best players in the world. He'd be very disappointed. You can tell by 36. his facial reactions what he thinks of it. Pretty straightforward shot has gone wrong. But he's played that safety shot Bingham, very well. 36. Five. Six. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how Ronnie negotiates these five reds. There's one it's furthest out of those five, obviously, pots. If he's going to win the frame of this visit, he's going to need a bit of Eleven. negotiating with a cue ball. Mm. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 11. Thank you. Maybe just a little bit of a stretch there. You can see the cue didn't go through smoothly. I think it was just stretching ever so slightly. Thank you. One. Eight. Nine. Very healthy lead. Sixteen. Considering where the reds are. Seventeen. 
24. Stuart Bingham, 24. Oh, the red just caught the, the bump of the middle pocket. Stunning bit of queuing. The first long pot was nice, but that was even better. Aiming down on the cue ball. Okay. It's funny, even though Stuart Bingham's sat in his chair and seen those two long pots that Ronnie potted, he'll know Ronnie looks sharp tonight. Gonna have to play well, which he would have expected, obviously. Daniel Sullivan, eight. That's just a fantastic shot. It really is. <laughs> Play that with the check side, the left hand side he had on it, and judge the pace. Gotta avoid the double kiss as well, but see the check side. Wow. No miss. Only a solo and four. Three ball. Yellow ball. Full house, as they say. Referee Ben Williams calling. Foul, miss and free ball, which O'Sullivan is going to try and take advantage of. I wonder what angle he's got in the pink. It looks maybe just One. a little bit too much One. angle to play with top spin into those three reds. He'd be bound to leave himself with the red in the open to left middle. Yeah, it's just too much of an angle. I can assume that Ronnie thought he might have just got a little bit of an edge off the red in the cushion because if not, that's a clumsy positional shot for someone like him. But he's able to play a good Daniel safety, Sullivan, taking another red off the cushion. Stuart's had a look at the pot and point of the reds, so he's taking this on. May feel a little bit of insurance with those two reds on the right side cushion. But when you miss it by a long way, you have no idea where the red's going to end up. I got the snooker, but as you could see, he was hoping to take those two reds with the red that he played. One. Very nicely cued. Thirty-seven in front. So Seven. if he could pop this red with either pink or black, O'Sullivan would need a snooker. Went for the double. Eight.
14. Stuart Bingham, 14. No great fireworks, Stephen, but Bingham's got to be happy with the first frame. Yeah, I mean, the first job in the match is to win that first frame, isn't it? You know, just okay. try and well. stamp a bit of authority on the match, but Ronnie's got a chance here. He could leave quite a nasty snooker after this pot. And that's pretty good. Eight. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. Had a slight exhale from Ronnie there. He didn't think he'd played a good shot because he wanted the cue ball glued to that black. He's got the snooker. I said I didn't think there'd be many frames over 20 minutes. We're already approaching the 24th minute of this first frame. Well, he tried Foul. to play a, a shot. Sold them four. Sort of screwing the cue ball into the cushion to square up the angle. And it was a bit like. Okay, I'm, I don't fancy hitting the red, but at least playing it this way, I can get the cue ball safe. A little bit surprised Ronnie put Stuart back in there so quickly. You can see it wasn't that difficult a shot to lay the snooker. There's room past the pink, not a lot of pressure on this because you can play this with an element of safety. And in it goes. One. Sure, Bingham one and the frame. O'Sullivan needed two snookers. He was in one, and he thought enough is enough. So after 26 minutes, Bingham leads one nil. He's reigning supreme in this match. Yellow's not easy. No, it wasn't easy. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. This red into the right corner. The cue ball is going to be going into the bunch of red, so this is very aggressive. Yeah, well played. One. Judged it to perfection. Eight. Nine. Seventeen. Twenty-five. Well, he's got open reds, but he's got another lovely angle in the black should he want to go into the six reds. He'd be very unlucky not to be on anything, and it could pave the way to winning the frame at this visit. He decided against going into them. 32. Thank you. 33. 40. The way he played the shot, this is a last resort red, not the one he wanted to be playing. Sure, bring him 40. Said earlier, very rarely plays containing safety shots. He played one there, and it's brought him a chance. One. Mm, and I said earlier, the chance that Stuart had to go into the six reds to play for Eight. an open red, refused it. Nine. Sixteen. 
17. Right next to the pink goes to the left corner. So he could play of two cushions here. It's going the other way. Right, okay. Now just bear with me a second. 24. So we can take our second. Okay. <laughs> there was a baby in the audience. To be honest, I was <laughs> looking at the, the lady holding that baby for a while thinking, mm. <laughs> Ronnie said she should be in bed. 25. I think that's the first 32. time I've ever seen that, Phil. A baby brought into a snooker match. I mean, what if it starts crying? 33. Didn't quite get into the cue ball there. He wanted the red to right corner, but it's okay. He's got this one in reserve. 41. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Well, it's a round of applause, but it's not got the best angle on this black. And he's lost the cue ball. And that was all from the previous shot. Sixty-two. He'll be absolutely furious where he's left the cue ball there. Sullivan, 62. I'm sure if Stuart can come cushion first with run inside, just flick the edge of the red and bring the cue ball back around the table of two or three cushions. Yeah, something like that. Didn't want to catch the blue. And well, wow. he's called ball run Bingham. He got a bit there. And now the opportunity to double his lead and to inflict a blow. Wow, well, Ronnie would love to see that. There's nothing you like better to see your opponent miss a shot like that. An easy shot, but under pressure. Okay, he's got away with it, but the fact is he missed it, and that will give Ronnie a come more confidence. Thank you. Oh, good shot. Oh, is there a gap? You can see there. Oh, wow. One. So the pink to leave Bingham requiring a snooker. Yeah, a bit of pressure on this. He's not landed nicely on these three colours. Yeah, played well and well, I don't think he's snookered himself behind Seven. the blue. Daniel Sullivan, seven. So similar to the first frame, no one player needs a snooker. The frame's not over yet. Frame conceded, frame Ronnie O'Sullivan. Bingham realises there's no way O'Sullivan is going to miss that. We don't know whether he's got the formula for success this evening.
you've seen another reason there why Ronnie very rarely gets involved in little safety battles there, but played the attacking shot. He knew he would possibly leave Stuart this safety shot, but at least it's kept the frame open. It's an orthodox frame. Very, very rarely plays a negative safety shot. One. There's a decent pot into the left middle pocket from Stuart Bingham there. Yeah, another great shot. Very well played. Four. Five. Twelve. Sure, Bingham, 12. But that's an unforced error of which you just can't afford. Wow. Wow, what has happened there? A let off from Stuart Bingham. What's going on, Phil? Well, I think the only plausible explanation, they're both feeling it. One. Yeah, it's the thing, the conundrum when you play Ronnie Sullivan, isn't it? If he's playing really, really well, then you're under pressure when you get a chance. Three. And if he misses a few... You're almost under more pressure because you want to take advantage. You're never ever in your comfort zone. Four. Seven. We've seen Stuart in his chair there and he put a couple of nice shots in the middle pocket at the beginning of this frame, but... I don't Eleven. Think he's truly got over that shot yet. Nice positional shot from Ronnie there. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty. Ronnie will probably play a little cannon into the four reds to the left of the six. Just to hold for one to left corner pocket. Well, he's chosen to play for a single red. The one that's next to the one he's playing, I'm not sure if that's available, it's pretty tight. 28. 35. 36. Ronnie had a chance to go into the reds, refused, played for a single red, and now he's found himself not nicely on this black. He had a little smile to himself. Because he knew he played a poor shot. Now he's got a red up to the yellow pocket. 43. 44. Nice pot, but not perfect. 51. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 51. 1 5 
8, 9, Eleven, twelve, yes, you know, how do you get from brown to blue? Nineteen. Well, the brown is, he's going to get himself right back into the frame. to take the blue out from that red. I had to make sure he put the red. 19. 20 behind. So the black, one, Pro Sullivan, will be frame ball. Eight. Ten. Yeah, the match is very early and it's not quite caught fire yet but 13 Stuart won't be happy he's made enough unforced errors you can tell how uneasy he is on your silver 13 on the frame Stuart Bingham does have problems what O'Sullivan is lacking in his usual fluency is more than making up in intensity 2-1 On success for both players, much lower than the norm. Thank you. One. Yeah, lovely shot. Three. He just needs to play four, four or five nice shots in a row, just to get that rhythm back, that confidence back. At the very beginning of this match, he looked sharp, he looked focused. 11. But he's just lost it a little bit. 12. Nineteen. Twenty. You can see a red at the back of the bunch there, available to the same pocket of the black. He's completely mishit that. The red that he played for is still on. 27. But you play that shot with just a little trace of right hand side. It's almost like he got no side in it hardly. So the red is still on, but we'll be back up for blue or bulk colour. Okay. 28. Thirty-three. Go on, Ronnie. Wow. Should bring him thirty-three. Four. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Did you hear the shadow? Come on, Ronnie. Almost the instant the red hit the jaws. One of these in the match so far to the right jaw. This time, right in the middle, and has the flick in the red. Perfection. Three. Four. Well, there's no doubt he'll be going into the bunch here. I'll be shocked if he doesn't. He's got a lovely angle. Screw into it, try and get lots of work, try and get the cue ball to the right side of the table. See the cue ball moving across. Played it to perfection. 11. 12. And this is what all the elite players do. And suddenly the frame is transformed. I think he got a bit of a bounce off the cushion there. 19. That seemed to come off strangely quickly. 
20. Just give me a second to add this up, please. Thank you. 26. Twenty-seven. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Forty. Thank you. Forty-one. Twenty-nine points ahead, so another couple of reds. Forty-eight. And with colours. Forty-nine. And with the pace, I helped that red go in any harder. It would have stayed up. I hit the first jaw. Fifty-six. Tony O'Sullivan, fifty-six. Yeah, One. The, the worst part of missing that for Ronnie, he brought that red away from the pink. So, great chance for Stuart Bingham. Is he going to have a pot at the red? Well, it's a thin one. Eight. If he can negotiate this red, it's hard to see him not winning the frame. As long as he gets on a colour. Stuart Bingham, eight. eight. The worrying thing for Stuart Bingham is not that only that he's missing, but he's, when he does, he's missing by quite a distance. Yes, with all of the colours sitting pretty, that's the second time he's missed the last red. He was guilty of the same thing in the second frame. Fractions, Stephen. Fractions. I was convinced the cue ball was going to drop in. I think Bingham was too. Foul. The miss. And now uh, this is a, a guaranteed foul. free ball. Free ball. Black ball. One. Seven. Just play a snooker. Send the red up the table, leave the cue ball exactly where the red is. We've got com complete Ronnie control Sullivan, of this frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Foul. And a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. 35 ahead, 35 on. Could take the miss. But chooses not to. Well, I don't know whether it was chivalrous, gallant, not to take the miss. But it could come back to bite him. One. 35 behind, 35 on when he came to the table. Obviously must pot this black. Oh, 
And to play this quite well. Eight. Can't really get close to the green, the angle he's got in the yellow. In fact, he's not even played it. Have a little it shot. How quickly the tables turn. Wow, and a miss. Shibbing and four. Wow. I mean, having missed the yellow, leaving it with an absolute perfect natural angle to pot the yellow and go up for the green. What a gift. Well, you've got to take this chance, Two. Stuart. Bingham too. Oh, sorry to say, Stuart Bingham's gone at the moment. He really is. Because Ronnie Sullivan is not playing well. But he hits all the world to be gone on his way to a 3 1 lead. His opponent just cannot take any of these chances. Three. A quizzical look on Bingham's face. Ronnie Sullivan, three. Yeah, it's not been the match though. Thought it was going to be. Stuart was obviously in tremendous scoring form against Maguire, and Ronnie's last three frames against Jimmy Robertson were very impressive. I thought it was going to be a great match. It still could be. But yeah, it's not uh, lived up to the billing as yet. Oh. Still, though, I think it's been really absorbing. Bingham looks at the scoreboard, contemplates concession. To say, Stephen, Bingham's hopes even before that were forlorn. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why he's playing on. I think it'd be better served, you know, getting out of there and getting on the practice table, getting some rhythm back into his Q arm. Five. Eleven. Yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan said he's here to enjoy himself. Don't you believe it? The Rocket is here to win. And right now, he leads Stuart Bingham at the interval by three frames to one. You could see on Bingham's face there, just before they took the break, the disappointment of the missed opportunities. But there's still time for things to improve for him. Well, 
Oh. Well. They call uh, Bingham Ball Run. Oh, Sullivan getting a little bit of luck there. Come off very Foul. square Miss. off that side cushion now. When you're Sullivan six. Has he left anything? Back. A little bit closer to the left centre pocket. Let the cue ball slide. That's pretty good. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball here. How's the pace? A bit pacey. Foul, you miss. When you're Sullivan four. Good pot and a nice little kiss off the red just to square up that cue ball off the side cushion. Straight away into the pack, how's your look? It's not too bad, he's on a red into the right corner pocket. Black is Six. still available into the right corner as well. Playing for the black. Seven. It's a little bit congested around that black spot. What's he on? 14. Oh, that's extreme. But lucky. <laughs> yeah, a little right smile. I don't blame you, Ronnie. You deserve to be on an easier red there. Neil Sullivan, 14. Go on. And he left. A chance is still a great pot though from Bingham. Mm. Stuart Bingham won. Once again, chance missed for Stuart Bingham. One. That was a good red. He played the more difficult of the red so he could get on the black. Could be running into the pink here, so gonna careful here. Decided to miss the pink. Hasn't worked out the way he would have wanted. Eight. Yeah, he's a good shot here. Nine. He'll settle for the brown in the middle. Thirteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Trying to work out here. Next red. Dying to get that black back on the spot. Fourteen. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Time to... Thirty-four. Put the foot on the pedal. As I say, business-like throughout. 41. Still needs a red here. 42. He's not in the final yet, but you fancy if he is there tomorrow, he'll have to play better than this against Neil Robertson, but he can still maybe end the evening well. He did that against Jimmy Robertson in the quarter final. 49. Last couple of frames, he played superbly there. 50. He's first got to get there. Fifty-seven. 
65, 66, 66. Bingham got in with that good long red, immediately missed the blue. There's been too many mistakes from Stuart Bingham tonight. 71. You can accept being completely outplayed, hardly getting a chance, but he's had chances in every frame. 72. Yeah, a little real those chances missed. Yellow obviously pots into the top left hand corner pocket, but he's lost the cue ball 77. here. 77. Might play a little cannon off the green. Almost. Also <laughs> 77 on the first. break of the semi final. 77. Ronnie O'Sullivan moving closer to a showdown tomorrow with Neil Robertson. He leads Stuart Bingham by four frames to one. Tight break only 40. You're not going to win many semi finals if that doesn't go up. Yeah, to be honest, I expect this type of performance from Stuart Bingham, particularly the way he's played so far in this tournament. Played superbly well in the previous match against Steve McGuire. Knocked in some big breaks. I really expected him to play very, very well tonight. Just so far hasn't happened. Okay, it's not ideal with the black tied up, but chance to put some balls, get some points okay. on the board, get your cue well. action going, build a little bit of confidence. It's a better pot. Good position on the red. Bingham's won one in the World Championship, which he went on to win, and two in the UK Championship. So. Big occasions he's beaten O'Sullivan, just not very often. Five. Well, that's not going to improve his mood. Every face tells a story, he does not. Absolutely appalled by that shot. Okay. Well, is he looking at the red, maybe? Got a heavy contact off it. Through the cue ball. Thank okay. you. Didn't hear anything, but I give him the five. benefit of the doubt. Well, he made sure everybody knew, didn't he? He got, he got the red out of the pocket to get the referee to clean it. Red here, just trying to bring the black into play. It's open too. Stewart tries to bring the cue ball down the right hand side of the table. A little bit of traffic there, he's got to be careful here. Yeah, that was always a problem, that red on the top cushion. And he stuck it up for Ronnie. One. Seven. Cleared a couple of reds away from the pink spot area in potting the pink. Eight. Fourteen. Well, what a gap that is. Didn't see that originally. Fifteen. That's a nice little Brucey bonus. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. This 29. is where Ronnie O'Sullivan is at his best in around pink and black. Just a series of little off screws and stones. Control of the cue ball is just impeccable. Never too far from 35. the next object ball. 36. 
Just does it at such speed as well. 42. 43. This will be his first little tester. Soft screw 49. this in. Yeah. Bunny O'Sullivan, 49. So, what can Stuart bring him do? Measly trying to take the black out. He's been a bit unfortunate here. One. Actually knocked it into safer position. So expect him to take the green. Try and get that cue ball down towards these reds below the pink. Four. Stuart Bingham, four. No, he always looked high. One. Seven. Eight. Yeah, have a look at this red as it's going towards the middle pocket. Look, it looks like this big lump of chalk on it. Maybe that was the red that he gave to the referee. A few moments ago to clean. Ronnie's missed it, so Sullivan, is still in the balance. This is effectively for a 5 1 lead. So it's meant that he hasn't had to dwell on his own errors because the chances are just coming too easily for him. Five. Six. <coughs> Twelve. If anything, things are getting worse for Stuart Bingham. Ronnie O'Sullivan, He was hoping things would turn around after the interval, but they haven't. And so Ronnie O'Sullivan is just two frames from victory. The one frame from victory even. He's leading 5-1 got a remarkably loyal and large fan base. A chance here for Bingham. Well, it's now or never, you feel. One. Wind, all the pressure comes off, you just have a go. That might happen here. Yeah, it's almost like the, the shackles Great. come off, don't they? That's what happens. And he'd be determined oh. to try and salvage something from tonight's match. Pride sort of takes over. Sounds good. Eleven. Now a chance to split the reds here, hopefully. Well, that didn't bring the black into play. Now what's he on? Is he on this 16. red? Position on the next colour is a lot more straightforward. Seventeen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. He's made eight maximum breaks in competition. Over 500 centuries. 30. 31. 36. Well, this is to extend his highest break of the night. But it needs to keep going here. 44. 45. He's played that nicely. Yeah, good shot. 50. 51. This is a lot better. This is more like Stuart Bingham now. 
Red and pink or red and black will be enough to leave Ronnie O'Sullivan. 53. Leaving the snooker. 54. You can see Bingham happy to have won a frame in one 62. visit. 62. 69. 70. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Well, well it doesn't matter. Five points. Five points. Contribution of the evening. Seventy-eight from Stuart Bingham. He needs a lot more where that came from, but it's a good start. Red on to the bottom right corner pocket. It's close. I don't think he's going to cover it. So another chance for Stuart Bingham. What would that break of 78 have done for his confidence? One. Yeah, sure. But he's got to really score from these positions. Six. Seven. Saying to herself, you're going to have to win this match. It's not going to be handed to you. You might have to produce something special yourself to get over the line. 14. Nearly missed that, but he's okay. He's got a choice here, into the pack, or try and play for that loose red, just uh, above the black. He's playing for the loose red. And he's on it nicely. Just stun into the red, right at 19. the black here. Stay on the black and just move that out of the pathway for black into the right corner pocket. Yeah, nicely played. 20. He's going to still need one good split on the red, so imperative that he leaves a nice angle when potting this red. 27. Nice angle on the next black. 28. Mm, that's not a good angle. Could lose the cue ball because of the, the acuteness of this particular angle. The black. Managed to hold it. Black just wriggled in, but he's still okay. 35. Bingham, 35. So the break ends, but at least he's not left an opening. Well, there was a chance at the double. A bit surprised that Ronnie has left Stewart this long red up into the green pocket. A bit careless. Oh, just saw there, he came right across that. But it hasn't left anything easy. Sullivan lining this one up, though. Yeah. Having been kept quiet for the last 10 15 minutes, well, he couldn't have struck that red any better. Beautifully Eight. cued, but hasn't left an angle to go into these pack of reds. So he's coming back for the black. Nine, there is one red available, the extreme right of red. There you see it into the same corner pocket. But he's sort of one split away, making this 16. frame and match-winning opportunity. Seventeen. This time, unlike Stewart, nicely on the black. All depends on the split here. How's your form? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, could have been better. 24. Okay, he's on a red into the top right-hand corner, red into the bottom right-hand corner. Just a little bit of pressure on it. 
Oh, well played. Thank you. Bye. Well played. So, a chance for O'Sullivan to take this match out. Put himself into the final. 28. Yeah, Ronnie O'Sullivan having a quick look at the scoreboard. He's already thinking how many points can I 29. be ahead before I try and tackle that safe red. He's going to need it. All level. 35. 36. Will he take these two reds around the pink and then go for the red that's away from the left cushion? Try and clear those up 44. for us before he attempts that more difficult red. I'm sure he'll take the two loose reds for us to get the points on the board. He's left himself an angle when potting this red. Now he could 51. bring the other red out into a, a better position. 52. It's gone wrong though. Needs a good yellow here. It's not easy. Oh, what okay. There's the cue ball. Needs a kiss on the blue. And he has done. Ho, ho, ho. That was handy. Wasn't played. He'll take it. 55. Purposely left an angle on this blue, played off two cushions, trying to nudge this red into play. This is the shot. He's missed it. So, still hope for sure, Bingham. 60. Money O'Sullivan, 60. He won't be happy with that shot. Maybe he was hoping to get a snooker behind the blue. And get that cue ball tight behind the black, red up the table. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to get the cue ball behind the black again. He hasn't got it behind the black, but he's got a good line with the red. Excellent shot. Have a look at this. How's your form? Oh my goodness. <laughs> they called Stuart Ballroom Bingham. Oh, Ronnie, even he can manage a little smile. Oh. Wow. Stuart nice. trying to actually play it off on cushion as a pot. Oh, and look Free where ball. the cue ball is finished. Wow. Surely Ronnie will just put him in from where the cue ball has landed. I don't think he'll take it on, will he? It's very dangerous. He's got to put him in from where the cue ball is finished. He's got to let him play from there, surely. What is he thinking about? Ground ball. This is... Oh, just, I cannot believe he took that brown on. I cannot believe that. <laughs> One. Well, now it becomes about the brown, which is White. now on the top cushion. Three. Five. Yeah, the score on the screen was incorrect. He can, he can win this frame by one point. Well, that certainly does make a difference. Eight. Doesn't want to be straight on this brown. Oh, he's dead straight. So you can only just pot this brown and then play a safety shot on the blue. Well, he, well, he didn't actually go for that. He's actually played a really clever shot. Excellent shot there from Stuart Bingham. A lot of the crowd thought he went for that. And he's got Ronnie in trouble here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Excellent escape.
four. Oh, blue, pink and black for a frame. He had no business winning. What a steal this would be. What was Ronnie Nine. thinking on that brown? Why didn't he just put him back in when he had him snookered? It's going to cost him. Fifteen. The black to keep the match alive. But it's not there. Sure, Bingham, fifteen. What a chance that Settle was. Settle down now, please. Thank you. To put pressure on and extend this match. He cannot believe it. O'Sullivan, after all that, needs the black for victory. And there he goes. The match. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Roddy O'Sullivan puts himself into the final. Stuart Bingham will remember that black all over Christmas, I suspect. That was a chance, as I say, to really put pressure on. But it is O'Sullivan who goes through to face Neil Robertson in the World Grand Prix Final. Yeah.